Okay, here we go. This is the beginning of a fun adventure. We're gonna hitch up. Thank goodness I have a backup cam on the back of the tailgate of the of the truck. So with any luck, we're gonna get it pretty darn close the first time. There's a shot of what it looks like when I'm using my backup cam. Looks like it's pretty lined up. Oh, well, I think that'll roll right onto the ball. That. Now I'm just gonna take one of these cotter pins. I'm gonna secure it so this can't shift with the cotter pin. So that process done, pull my leverage bar, start to start to drop. Odyssey, the R pod behind me. And we are on our way on our adventure. Woohoo! Adventure time. Here we are. This is our two campsites. Right there. In that you cute are going the wrong way down the street. Just came back from a photo shoot. We're going to be grilling on the Weber Go Anywhere tonight. So I'm about to put some coals. And get them lighted up in the chimney. It's a brisk fall day. It's been somewhere in the upper 40s. The wind finally died down. And uh, I'm camping with my Granny's on the Grow partner here in her Airstream. And I'm camping here with my my uh, our pod rig my our pod rig is called the Podacy because we go on odysseys together we got the table candles on we got a turkey tenderloin going on here I'll just give a quick peek for you there's some turkey tenderloin roasting on the indirect heat there's the hot coals indirect heat we got a fire pit ready to go. And we have Miss Susie over here. Yes. And then we have a couple of my tiki lanterns ready to go. And there's Susie and her her Airstream B van. She wasn't happy until I got the fire started. We're now now she's happy. We're camping. We're camping. We're cooking dinner and we're camping. We're about to have turkey tenderloin mashed potatoes, stuffing, and Brussels sprouts. I mean, this is how we camp, folks. <laughs> Maybe we glamp, I'm not sure, but whatever. We do it well and enjoy it. <laughs> Seven in the morning. Got up early. I was gonna go out and shoot the sunrise. The only problem is it was raining and uh, it's overcast. It's pretty overcast. So just waiting to see what the sun, what the day will bring and if there'll be sun. And so I started a fire. It's pretty cold. I'm not sure what the temp is, but I'd say it's probably around 40, 40, 42, somewhere around there. So, nothing like a nice warm campfire first thing in the morning. Oh, It's yeah. raining. You can see because the ground is wet here. But we've got this roaring fire. We're standing here babysitting this fire. Isn't that cool? Okay, I got my 15 charcoal briquettes on the top. And I got my 10 charcoal briquettes underneath. I got the campfire going here. We're making peach cobbler. So we're on the countdown for 15 minutes to when I do a rotation of the lid in the bottom. So we'll see. Um, we have a reserve small pile of coals right there to rotate any ones out. Plus we have all of these hot embers down in there that can act as coals if we need them. So we'll have plenty of heat source to make this thing go. Okay, so I shook the coals off of the top and I'm ready to reveal this peach cobbler that's been cooking with coals under it and above it for the past, so oh, 50, 55 minutes to an hour. So here we go. There it is, peach cobbler. There's a piece missing because someone at the campground already got into it. And then we've got some ready whip to go with it. And this wonderful spoon. Spoon. You can put on the, it's going in again. <laughs> Look at that. So you 
getting back home now on the highway, pulling the Podesty down the road with me. And we had a great time. We want to remind everybody that, you know, we all can do this. And uh, it's not a great challenge. It's just something that you have to make up your mind that you want to do. And you get out there and you do it. So uh, there was lots of fun to be had. Did some Dutch oven cooking. Did some grilling. That turned out delicious. And that's about it. So yeah, there's my Podesty behind me right there in the rear view. You can see it. And we had a great, great weekend. So thanks for tuning in, folks. And we'll see you on the next adventure.